There exists an English language proverb. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. The exact origins of this proverb are unknown, but it is highly believed that it was first published in Henry G. Boone's A Hands Book of Proverbs in 1855. The meaning of this proverb is simple. Evil actions done by individuals are often undertaken with the intention to do good. The evil that then comes from these actions is then either an unintended side effect or a needed sacrifice. People looking at the past often use this phrase to explain how an evil action made in the past was not evil from the perspective of the people who did said action. It is a simple proverb. A simple statement that is sometimes used to wave away the damage set actions resulted in. When applied to the past, it kind of reminds me of the statement This was normal for that time period. A statement often used to defend older media or fiction which depict things that are not socially acceptable anymore. I am not here to talk about that. I want to talk about how often good intentions don't matter. Which brings us to the subject matter. Autism Speaks. Where do I even begin? I have been wanting to make an Autism Speaks video for quite some time now. Autism Speaks is such a big talking point among the online autistic community that it was actually kind of hard for me to not hear about it. Autism Speaks has an extremely poor reputation online for a large variety of reasons. If you want me to go into detail about how Autism Speaks ruins the lives of the people it claims to support, then this is not the right video for that. There are a multitude of videos online about the subject and I will link a PDF file in the description by the Autism Self Advocacy Network which does a pretty good job explaining why Autism Speaks is a harmful organization. With that said, I will give a brief description of what Autism Speaks does and why we should not support them. Autism Speaks was founded back in 2005 by Bob Wright, the Vice Chairman of General Electric, and his wife Suzanne. This was done a year after their own grandson was diagnosed with autism. Autism Speaks, however, has done many things in the past that have harmed people on the autism spectrum severely. Most important of this is the fact that Autism Speaks sees autism as a disease. Something to be cured rather than a neurodiversity. Something to be celebrated. It has funded millions of dollars into quote-unquote research to find said cure and in doing so has created a lot of barriers for autistic people to exist in our society. A good example of this would be an ad they created in 2008 that stigmatized autistic people and made us look like a bunch of serial killers. Furthermore, Autism Speaks also often promotes quote unquote therapies, which are often very harmful and destructive to people on the autism spectrum. I made a whole video about one of those therapies, check it out. Needless to say, they are not a good organization and they should not have our support. Now, obviously, I, as a filthy swamp German, have never encountered Autism Speaks since they only seem to operate in North America. But, they are one of the largest autism awareness companies on the globe and their influence is vast. Thanks, America! Oh, and they used to be anti-vaxxers, 
so you know that they definitely have their priorities straight. While all of this is awful and terrible and should honestly be stopped, this is not what I want to talk about. I could have made your box standard Autism Speaks video, in which I explain why they are bad and just call it a day. However, I want to look a bit beyond that. I chose Autism Speaks as an example because they're perfect for what I want to talk about. Good intentions don't always matter. Here is the thing. The founders of Autism Speaks set up their organization because their grandson was diagnosed with autism. They did so not because they hated their grandson, but because they cared for him and they wanted to help him. They probably saw their grandson struggling and wanted to help him not struggle anymore. However, due to many unknown circumstances, many of which can probably be scratched up to the ignorance and lack of knowledge regarding what autism actually is, they created this monolith of an organization that does an untold amount of harm to the same people that they are claiming they are trying to help. Which brings me to my conclusion. Your intentions are irrelevant if the results of your actions have an adverse effect on the people you are trying to help or the situation you are trying to improve. We can all make as many excuses as we want for the actions of people like this, but that does not change the fact that a lot of suffering was wrought in the cause for it. Unfortunately, I see all too common people making excuses for tyrants and dictators from the past under the banner of, well, they killed 10 million people, but at least they made the country great. Very often, the ends don't always justify the means, and more than often, the means often lead to the end. For Autism Speaks, the main reason that they managed to grow as big as they are is because they have the backing of more than a few large companies. Which only proves my suspicions that large companies do not give a rat's ass about neurodivergence. Guess we have that in common with queer people. The only way to fight this is to be as loud and clear as possible and fight the spread of misinformation spread by companies like Autism Speaks and their allies. Only together can we defeat the capitalist snake. This means that autism awareness organizations need to employ and actually talk to people on the spectrum and stop using outdated and bad information to make their decisions. I am reminded of how Magnus Hirschfeld managed to find out a lot about proper trans healthcare and gay rights by just asking them what would be best for them. Just ask them. Just ask us. Nothing about us without us. Without people on the spectrum leading the charge to improve society for us, money will keep being funneled into bad organizations like Autism Speaks. Organizations who think that they are doing the right thing, but do more damage than actually doing any good. Good intentions don't matter when the end result is destructive. The road to hell is paved with good intentions. So we better make sure that we check our intentions and revisit them often to make sure that we are still on the right path. Solidarity to all and I wish you all the best.